Hi everyone, today we're doing Facts About Wheels and Wings, part of Critical Thinking Book 4, Unit 6. Wheels and wings help us get from one place to another. Both of these technologies have a long history and many uses. Wheels have a long history. They've been around for a long time. Wheels. The first wheels were not used for transportation. What do you think the first wheels were used for? Sometime around 3500 BC, the wheel was invented for use by a potter. No, not Harry Potter. I'm talking about potters, such as pot, pottery, potter. A potter is a person who makes pots. About 300 years later, wheels appeared on the chariot. This is a chariot. A chariot is like a chair, but on wheels. Since then, wheels have made work easier and transportation faster. Take wheelbarrows for an example. These are wheelbarrows. People use them to transport things from place to place. A wheelbarrow has an axle and a wheel that change a push or pull into a force that rotates or spins. With wheelbarrows, it's much easier to push a load rolling on a wheel than it is to drag the load along the ground. This person is so tired trying to drag the load. It would be easier with a wheelbarrow. The same rule applies to wagons, suitcases, and shopping carts. Of course, wheels are needed to set bikes, cars, buses, planes, and many other forms of transportation into motion. Whether you are pushing a shopping cart, riding a bike, or driving in a car, wheels are an important technology. Can you think of any other kinds of wheels? Wheels are in the gears of a clock. Or some cultures use water wheels, such as the people in Sapa. Wings. Most animals that have wings can fly. Some animals that have wings cannot. For an example, ostriches and kiwis cannot fly. But this is what inspired the first engineers to try to fly. This is a flying squirrel. It uses its skin to glide through the air. They built wings to strap onto their arms or machines with flapping wings called ornithopters. This is an example of an ornithopter. Unfortunately, their plans did not work. Over a period of many years, people tried and tried to take flight. First, you have your early gliders, and then balloons, airships, airplanes, jet engines, and then finally the lunar lander. There were many small successes along the way. Do you have any small successes in your life? Two of the most famous people who experimented with flight machines were Orville and Wilbur Wright. They were brothers. From 1899 to 1903, they built 
countless kites and gliders. This is an example of a kite, and here is an example of a glider. In 1903, Wilbur Wright made the first Where is this one? In 1903, Wilbur Wright made the first powered flight in aircraft. This is a photo of that first flight. The flight lasted 12 seconds and stretched only 120 feet, or 37 meters. That's about the size of a tennis court or the size of an apatosaurus. Those early experiments led to today's modern airplane. This is a Boeing 787 jet airplane. Now, thousands of planes fly all over the world every day, and they couldn't do it without their wings. All right, everyone, that's all for today. We'll see you around. Bye.